Rahman Rahim. Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. In the conclusion of its works, uh, the National Seminar on Best Oman Societal Practices yeah, recommends yeah. the enhancing culture of dialogue, moderate spending, and preserving Omani identity. The Public Authority for Consumer Protection at Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry supports the establishments of cooperative societies in the Sultanate. Two studies to reconsider the pricing of electricity for some sectors and find energy alternatives in the Sultanate. And valuing their role in education process, the Ministry of Education honors more than 300 male and female teachers in the Governorate of Muscat. Good evening once again and thank you for joining us. Those were the headlines and now the news in details. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cabal of condolences to His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al-Ahmed Al-Jabbar Al-Sabah Amir of the state of Kuwait on the death of Sheikh Sabah Nasser Al-Saud Al-Sabah. Promoting the culture of dialogue, uh, rationalizing in expenditure and preserving the Omani identity were the most important recommendations of the National Symposium on the best Omani societal practices held at the premises of the Council of Oman in Masqalt. The symposium also called for activation and the role of Sabla in strengthening the Omani identity. The conclusion activities were presided over by His Excellency Sayyid Hamoud bin Faisal al Saidi, Minister of the Interior. The symposium also urged public non-government and private establishments to cooperate in implementing initiatives at the level of wilayas and governorates that aim to preserve the Omani identity and to adhere to the ethics of public taste and Omani costumes in public and official places. It also stressed the need to spread legal culture as to achieve public order. The two-day symposium also called for modernization and not squandering during social events and ceremonies. A work paper also recommended uh, to use media means to enhance the Omani identity. The second International Medical Tourism Equipment Technology Exhibition and Conference was opened under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Saidi, Minister of Health. More details in the following report. The healthcare services in Oman is continuously expanding, advancing and progressing at a constant pace and a scientific technologic advance in medicine continues to expand which provides new opportunities for assisting in managing various health deficiencies. Hence, to facilitate such opportunities and to be more closer to the healthcare providers in the Sultanate, the second International Medical Tourism Equipment Technology Exhibition and conference is being organized with the participation of over 50 leading hospitals from various countries. The exhibition was inaugurated by His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Al-Saidi, the Minister of Health, in which he said, the second exhibition uh, of the medical tourism with the conference accompanying it. There are more than 40 companies and hospitals participating. Uh, the advances in healthcare, whether it's stem cell or other technologies, will be presented here. So, this hopefully will. Uh, again raise the standards of healthcare in the country. I'm hoping the private sector will continue to be partner and to be strong and stro stronger so that they can compete with the Minister of Health and work with the Minister of Health. And there's lots of opportunities here for the private sector, for investors. We've seen wonderful uh, ideas uh, from hospital buildings, from new treatments for diabetes. And uh, the, those who are attending hopefully will learn a lot and not only learn, but will uh, basically practice what uh, they see and what they learn to improve the health care in the country. The participants in the IMTEC 2014 are specialists and professionals from global and local health sectors, international hospitals, travel and tourism sectors, companies and sellers of medical equipment and technology. Visitors have an exciting opportunity to see cutting-edge medical technology. Future projects rendered by representatives of different participating countries in the medical tourism sector and they can interact with the specialists for more details.
A group of medical students from Sultan Qaboos University are participating in this exhibition and they have this to say. Today we are here to promote for our project. It's a new project which is Kids Medical Club uh, within the Sultan Qaboos University uh, Medical Student Group. Um, this uh, project uh, will uh, spot a light on uh, uh, human body systems, how it works for the children and elementary students. We aim to bring the world of medicine into the classrooms in a very fun and interactive way by giving the students the chance to have to discover themselves rather than giving them lectures or in a very in like a usual way not in a usual way it is worth mentioning that all visitors will have an opportunity to have uh, consultations from several specialist doctors during these exhibition days Public Authority for Consumer Protection and Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry stressed their support for establishments of cooperative societies in the Sultanate for their role in providing numerous choices and alternatives of consumer goods. The authority and the chamber decided to launch joint companies for consumer protection, organizing consumers and private sector conference in October of this year. That came in the joint meeting of these two bodies during which they emphasized their integrated role to achieve consumers and traders in interest to achieve joint national goals. There is a study to reconsider electricity tariff for some sectors in the Sultanate. This was announced by His Excellency Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Mahruki, Chairman of the Public Authority for Electricity and Water. The study included electricity tariffs of government, industrial, and commercial sectors. He also disclosed that the authority is conducting a study to formulate energy strategy that will include available alternative sources during the upcoming period till 2040. Harmful agla blooms and their impact on water desalination and ways to deal with this phenomenon caused by sea currents were some topics discussed by the International Conference on Harmful Agla Blooms and Water Desalination Conference. The event was organized by the Public Authority for Electricity and Water in the cooperations with Middle East Desalination Research Center and Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO. The work papers presented at the conference dealt with problems caused by harmful agla blooms at desalination plants, focusing on modern techniques to deal with them. You're watching the Sultanate of Oman television and still to come in our news bulletin. The Ministry of Education owners more than 300 teachers in the Governorate of Muscat. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The Board of Public Authority for Manpower Register discussed implementation of projects of e-link with uh, concerned authorities which will contribute in providing more job opportunities and their enlisting according to needs of government units. The Board also reviewed job opportunities which had been made available in public and private sectors which amounted to more than 80,000 this year. The Board also discussed difficulties that face observing uh, job seekers who are holders of university degrees, especially those qualified with the little demand in the labor market. Omani-Kenyan relations were discussed by Lieutenant General Ahmed bin Harith and Nabhani, Chief of Staff of Sultan's Armed Forces with Major General Bashir Haji Yusuf, a Deputy Commander of National Defense College of Kenya. When he received him in his office and his delegation during the meeting, they exchanged points of view and discussed a number of matters of mutual concern. 
The fourth photography forum showcased more than 270 pictures uh, depicting uh, various environments and themes and each narrated a story behind it. It was held at Middle East College and reflected contribution and creativity of photographers where a number of whom were honored. There are 12 prizes in the two different competitions. Six of them were at Gulf level and six were allocated for Middle East College participants. The forum came under the title of Storyline. The, there are 15 participants held from Gulf countries as well as participants from nine colleges, schools, students and individual amateurs. The Ministry of Social Development represented in the Directorate General for Handicapped People Affairs and in cooperation with UNICEF organization in Muscat implemented the uh, introducing session of international agreement for handicapped people, its special photo, uh, protocols and enhancing awareness in apply them. This workshop targeted different uh, concerned governmental bodies, the relies of Nizwa and the government of Dakhliya was the fourth place to implement this session. This session, the session focused on highlighted aspects which the agreement solve in order to enhance a complete participation of handicapped in social life and different development courses. Appreciating teacher's role in educational process and his role in carrying education and knowledge message to build society in knowledge communications and high-tech era, the Minister of Education ordered more than 300 male and female teachers on the occasion of Teacher's Day. The ceremony of honoring teachers included the various events uh, such as the participation of Sultan Qaboos University students to congratulate teachers. Iran may be lumbered with economic sanctions, but that did not stop a local team of robotics experts from sweeping aside German and Dutch rivals in football's RoboCup. More details in the following report. They're only a little taller than a football player's shin pads and have yet to master the art of passing, moving and beating the offside trap. But ambitious engineers believe that in less than 40 years, robot footballers could take on a World Cup winning human team. To make this dream a reality, programmers from all over the world have gathered in Tehran, Iran, for the ninth edition of the RoboCup International. Fortunately, this year, good teams from good universities from around the world have participated in this competition. Teams from the U.S., England, Canada, Germany, the Netherlands, China, Japan and Mexico. Each of the five teams in the RoboCup Standard Platform League is made up of four identical humanoid robots. The robots, or now, are programmed before the game and act independently without external control. They were created by French firm Aldebaran Robotics, which for the Iranian team has been a tough challenge. Some issues that we have are the sanctions, uh, but uh, probably other issues that uh, diplomatic or such uh, we have <coughs> for upgrading our robots. Uh, we are not able to have uh, Aldebaran uh, to fix the robots here for the teams and uh, provide good support for the team. Competitions like RoboCup have spurred major innovations in robotics. Before 2007, the robots of this league were like dogs. They walked on four legs, they crawled on the ground. For sure, even more advanced robots will be developed in the future. We have no precise idea what they will be able to do. Our robots have microphones and speakers and the ability to talk. If we work on this function, the robots will surely be able to interact better with humans. The likes of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo have little to worry about just yet. But the technology is constantly improving. For these programmers at least, the future is definitely now. What an excellent uh, robot uh, team there. Now for the general weather forecast. Clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the Sultanate. Winds will be northeastly light to moderate along the coast of Sea of Oman, while it will be southerly to southeastly light to moderate along the rest of the Sultanate. Seas will be slight with the maximum wave height of one meter.
You're watching the South Honest of Oman television. And now, before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. In the conclusion of its works, the National Seminar on Best Omani Societal Practices recommends enhancing culture of dialogue, moderate spending, and preserving Omani identity. <laughs> The Public Authority for Consumer Protection and Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry supports the establishments of cooperative societies in the Sultanate. Two studies to reconsider the pricing of electricity for some sectors and fine energy alternatives in the Sultanate. And valuing their role in education process, the Ministry of Education owners more than 300 male and female teachers in the Governorate of Muscat. With that, we come to an end of tonight's news uh, bulletin. From me, Abdullah Rubia, together with the entire news team, we do thank you for joining us and wish you a pleasant evening. <laughs>